Hi right, YouTubers, uh, this is a quick video on getting on the internet, finding malware bytes, and downloading it. This is a tool that I use all the time, especially after you just get done doing a MS config and you're into safe mode. I would, uh, all you have to do is copy the link that I have provided then you paste it in the URL as usual once you come to this particular um, section you'll click download once this pops up you click save and then you'll notice over here if you're in Firefox it'll be up here sometimes depending on what Explorer you have you uh, might find it down here in the bottom but once the blue arrow shows up in Firefox you're ready to go click on it and it should open up pretty quick then click on run might be prompted for a password if you're uh, regardless of what whether you're on an admin or not but if not, uh, this should pop up. Click OK. Unless you want a different language, you can switch the language. Click Next. Click I Accept the Agreement. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. And if you don't want to create a shortcut, then you can click here. Click Next. Click Next. Install. It should install fairly quick. Okay, I clicked. Um, I paused it for a minute while it, it ran. So now it's done. You click. Uh, if you want to run it, you can click finish. If not, if you're not in safe mode, um, this is best ran in safe mode. So restart your computer, tap the F8 key. Um, it should open up a menu click safe mode and you should be good to go once the program opens up it'll start automatically updating you can see that it's updating here um, if you're running this in safe mode you're gonna want to do safe mode with networking and then um, other than that everything should be the same uh, once the updates are done you can uh, click on the scan now button and you shouldn't really have to change anything you shouldn't really have to change anything on this particular program it should be ready to scan everything um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel the scan um, when you're done you should you shouldn't have to worry about if it finds something you should be able to go right ahead and delete it you should be should be fine I've, I've never had a problem where I was fixing a customer's computer and something showed up that really you know couldn't be deleted so I'm gonna abort the scan um, I hope this helps you guys the uh, next program we're gonna work on I'm gonna do a video on is the CC cleaner that's a really really good program um, especially if you're just going to use it for what I'm going to show you. But please check out my other videos, and uh, please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Thank you.